Hello friends, welcome to SQL practical question series. So in this video, we are going to learn how to write an SQL to extract first name, middle name, last name and the domain name from the given email ID. Let us assume that the mail ID given to us contains all these three names separated by a dot character and followed by the domain name information. So what we need to do is that we need to write a SQL to extract the first name to extract the middle name and same way to extract the last name and the domain name information. So before even we start with the test data from a given table, we'll start with a simple mail ID. From there, we'll try to extract the information. Once we are able to write a query for a simple logic, then we can apply on our test data setup. So now let us start writing the SQL. So let us first try to extract the information from the given mail ID. Then we'll try to uh, insert all the list of mail IDs into a table. Then we can extract this. So first we'll try to extract the name portion and domain portion. So I'm just going to use a with class for better and simpler SQLs. So from this uh, given mail ID, we'll first extract the name portion and a domain portion. Of course, here at the rate is the delimiter. So whatever the name comes before the at, at the rate symbol will be our name portion. Same way, whatever comes after the at the rate will be our domain portion. So first we'll find out the position of the at the rate symbol so that we'll be able to get the information before. So the at the rate exists in the 15th position. So now let us use substring of the given mail one comma the position of at the rate so it is giving siva dot k dot academy that is the name portion in fact we don't want the at the rate symbol so i'm just subtracting the position by one so that we'll get the name portion so this becomes our name portion same way let us extract the domain portion so in this case i don't want to start with the first position in fact i want to start from the position of at now we got the domain at the rate gmail in fact if you don't want the at the rate symbol you can say you can start from the next position of the at the rate so that now we have just extracted the name and the domain let us give a meaningful alias here We just got the name and the domain uh, portion. Now we'll try to extract the uh, first name, middle name and last name. The logic is exactly same like the previous. Previous case, we just took at the rate as a delimiter. So we extract the extracted the portion before the at the rate symbol and after the at the rate symbol. Now we need to extract the first name, middle name and last name using the dot as the delimiter character. So first we'll start with the first name. So first name typically is from start to the first occurrence of the dot. So I am saying from first character to the dot character. So in the name, I am saying dot. So basically we need to start the search of the dot from the first character and we need the first occurrence. So even, even if you are not giving this parameters, the default is one and one only, but it's good to explicitly mention this. Okay, now if you see, we just got the first name. If we don't want the dot, we can subtract it by one so that we'll get only the first name. Let us give a meaningful alias. First name. Okay. Same way, now we can start extracting the middle name. So middle name actually should start from the dot position only. So we'll say middle name. So it should ideally start from after this dot. So I just put the plus one. Okay, now we need the number of characters between the first dot to the second dot position. So for that, what we can do, we can subtract the second dot position. That is the second occurrence of the dot minus the first occurrence of the dot. So that will give the number of characters between the second occurrence of the dot to the first occurrence of the dot. In fact, I don't want the dot symbol here. So I just put a minus one here. Now we got the middle name. Let us now try to write a substring function to extract the last name. So last name ideally is very simple. It should start from the second occurrence till end of the 
last name yeah so till end of the name in fact i don't want the dot so i just put plus one to exclude the dot now if you can see we just extracted the first name middle name last name and the domain name let us give a meaningful alias here yeah now that we have just extracted the things to get the meaningful alias if you can able to write this particular query your understanding with respect to the substring function and instring function be will become very clear because many times in interview you will be facing a similar question so once you are able to write these questions you will be able to write all the related questions using the instring and the substring functions so now let us try to uh, insert some test data into our table then we'll write we'll see how to write this query so here I'm just going to create a table which can which is just going to hold a list of mail ID. I'm just populating three mail IDs here. Let me commit the data. So here is the exact same query what we have just now written. Instead of taking from the uh, hard coded value, now I'm just reading from the table. And apart from that, the logic is exactly the same. So we from the table, we are reading the mail ID and then we are extracting the first name, middle name, last name and the domain name information. So this is one way of writing. Let us see one more way of writing. In fact, we can write a function for to extract each and every information. But the core logic is exactly the same. We have to use somehow we have to use the substring and the instinct function. So here is a simple function just to extract the first name. So let us first check whether this function is working fine. I'm just passing a test mail ID for this function a.b.c at gmail.com. So ideally this should return the first name that is it should extract the a from this given mail ID. Yes, it is working fine because it is just written the A. Same way, I'm just writing another function to get the middle name. Let us test our middle name function. Yes, it is extracting and giving the B. Same way, here is an another function to get the last name, which is extracting the last name. Let us test our last name function. Yes, it is extracting the C. Same way, I'm writing another function to get the domain name. Let us test our function. It is extracting the Gmail. That is the domain name from the given mail ID. Now. It's just we need to use all these function on top of whatever the input um, mail ID is. So here is the final query which just reads the mail ID and it is passing this mail ID to all these four function and it is extracting whatever the information. Though this is not a right way for this particular um, problem, it is good to know that we can <laughs> implement like this also because sometimes the logic would be a bit complex which it's not possible to write everything in the same select statement itself. In those scenarios, we can just go and write the functions. So wherever there is a need, you can write a, wherever there is a need to implement a bit complex function or complex logic, you can write a function, then you can use it in the select statement. So let us see one more way of writing a SQL for the same problem. So here is another SQL. The only difference is, instead of writing an individual function, now I'm writing all these function as part of the with class. However, keep it in mind that Supporting with function and procedure within with class is from only 12.2 version. So exactly the same function. I'm just writing a function to get the first name, function to get the last name, function to get, sorry, middle name, function to get last name, and function to get domain name. And finally, I'm using all these function in the select class. So this is just one single select statement. Here we are not writing, we are not creating the PL SQL function. Instead, we are defining all these function as part of the with class itself. Let us see one more way of writing. The very simplest way is using the regular expression because like any most of the languages, Oracle also supports regular expression. So it's very easy and very simple. If you can able to uh, understand the regular expression from most of the other languages, then this uh, format is uh, mostly similar only. So and by, by explicitly specifying the format that is from first to the start of the character to the first dot is the first name from first dot to the second occurrence of dot is the middle name from second occurrence of dot till at the rate is the like a uh, last name anything follows at the rate symbol is like the domain name like that if you can able to uh, give our inputs to this uh, regular expression then it is very easy for us to extract so just to summarize here is our uh, uh, methods of writing the sql in the first method we actually uh, wrote everything in a single SQL. The key learning here is that the way how we are going to use the substring and in instring functions. I would suggest you try writing this function so that your understanding with respect to the instring and substring will become much more clear and you'll be able to write any other queries very much similar to this. The second method we saw, we, are, we actually created like four functions, one to get the 
first name another to get middle name another to get last name and the last one to get the domain name and we have actually used all these four functions in the uh, main query to extract the information whatever we need so in the third uh, method we actually saw all these functions we wrote as part of the with class but keep it in mind that this is supported only from 12.2 the fourth method we actually saw how to use the regular expression uh, to extract the information whatever we need if you have learned something new please like this video subscribe and stay tuned for new feature videos interview questions sql practical questions concept videos if you have any questions you can drop in the comment section or you can drop to this mail id thanks a lot for watching this video